The man convicted in a brutal beating could walk free on the same day a jury delivered a guilty verdict. A jury convicted 19-year-old Travis Hawkins Jr. on the misdemeanor charge of third-degree assault. Prosecutors wanted a conviction on second-degree assault, which is a felony. Local 15's Derek Rose is live from Government Plaza. Derek, how is it possible someone convicted in court can still walk free the same day? Well, Kim, Judge Michael Young Peter handed down the maximum sentence of one year to Travis Hawkins Jr. He split it up, though, between three months and nine months. Hawkins would serve three months up front, and then if he committed a crime within the next two years, he would have to serve the remaining nine months. But his attorney decided he wanted to appeal the conviction altogether, and the judge granted what's called an appeal bond, meaning while this case heads, heads through the appellate system, Travis Hawkins could be a free man. No visible reaction today from Travis Hawkins as the four person read the verdict. Instead, just two simple words. Just to thank you because he, he really feared going to prison. Hawkins never denied punching Mallory Owen so badly her family could not recognize her face. But the jury decided her injuries did not amount to serious physical injury, only physical injury, and chose to convict on a misdemeanor charge. They didn't let emotion or sympathy or, any, or prejudice or anything like that influence them. I think the jury's decision would have been different uh, if they had known the violent history of this individual, this young man, as well as the violent history of uh, this family. Several years ago, Hawkins' father, Travis Sr., shot his son, who then refused to testify against his father. And according to the district attorney, Travis Jr. also beat another man in a separate case. That person also did not press charges. Then came Thanksgiving 2012 and the beating outside the Hawkins family home. Jim Bird argued the reason his client hit Mallory Owens. She was forcing her girlfriend, who was also Travis's sister, to use drugs and become a prostitute, a claim both women denied in court. You can only imagine how torn up the family is, having one child pitted against another in a courtroom and so forth. But uh, I think the family's going to handle it well. It's more reason the district attorney is blown away. The defense team wants to appeal the conviction. I can't imagine why anyone um, who has admitted that they committed this horrific act, admitted he committed this horrific act, would waste money and time and effort to appeal this through our court system. Um, move on. Move on. Now, the final decision whether or not to file a formal appeal is up to Travis Hawkins, Jr., but again, because of that appeal bond, which, by the way, requires him to wear an ankle monitor, he could be free while making that decision. Live downtown, I'm Derek Rose, Local 15 News.